Pass the torch. Pass the torch. Pass the torch. A small but growing chorus that's fast gaining momentum. We are here today to ask, to beg, to tell President Biden that it is time to pass the torch. A grassroots political movement calling for change at the top of the Democratic Party ticket for president. This is an existential election, right? That's not just a talking point. That, that is real. Um, democracy is on the ballot. It's nothing against him. I, I support everything that he's done in his four years, uh, but it's just become very evident that he cannot lead this party anymore. Mr. President, how do you feel? More than 10% of the Democratic Party caucus has now called for the president to stand aside. The machinations over his political future playing out in public as he isolates with COVID-19. For a career politician who waited more than four decades to take the presidency and one who's known for proving his doubters wrong, this isn't an easy decision for Joe Biden and one he's unlikely to make quickly despite the growing ruptures within his party. The president is angry. He feels abandoned. The word abandoned was used several times uh, in discussions I've had with people in the White House. If President Biden decides to step back, we have Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, who is ready to step up, to unite the party, to take on Donald Trump, and to win in November. Thank you, Joe. It's time to go. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. The president's maintaining he'll return to the campaign trail next week, but with critical funders reportedly withdrawing, the path to victory is looking shaky. Catherine Deese, ABC News, Washington.